Hi friends, welcome to the wild side. I'm Steve Hall. Outdoor adventure is often an escape from the everyday reality that happens to us in our lives. When you're young and experiencing one of life's greatest tragedies, it can help to take a time out from the truth. As Wildside Guide Ezekiel Noah Hall tells us, a soldier's child is a nonprofit organization created to show some very special children just how much they are loved and appreciated. If you were to stop watching and just listen for a moment, you can actually hear the difference one really good shot can make. This is an event specifically designed for things to go right because so much has already gone wrong. We were coming home from the store that day and um, we pulled up to the driveway and there was already a car there. So um, we got out of the car and then two army men dressed up came out and told my mom that my uh, dad has passed away in an accident. My father was driving a truck and they drove over an improvised explosive device. He got shot by an RPG in a helicopter. He was the crew chief, which is the gunner. He spun out and hit another helicopter, and 15 people passed away that day. The details of each story are different, but all are similar in their unimaginable outcomes. It's an emotional connection they can't find with anyone else. There's something about being together with someone that has felt your pain, just, and it makes it all better. It also helps to obliterate a few clay targets for a feeling of empowerment and an open door for new opportunities. Clip up, mount, and then call for the bird. Safety and shoot. Got it? No misses in that gun. The camaraderie among these kids is encouraging and speaks volumes for the establishment of the organization responsible for setting this day aside and bringing them here to JT Family Farms in Williamson County. It's our debt to pay. It's the, it's the debt of the people that live in this country to care for the children and to make sure that they're, they're good to go. A soldier's child was founded on the faith one man found when confronted by a neighbor whose child was killed serving in Iraq. And he said to me very bluntly, did it really freaking matter and does anybody give a damn? And then he walked back into his house and left me standing in his garage. A veteran who readily admits he hadn't previously thought of the families and particularly the kids left behind, Daryl Mackin, found his calling. And so that's what I'm trying to do with our mentorship program is surround the, the kids with people that have a heart, that love them, that want to honor them, that want to give them hope to live a courageous life, which they deserve. Because, you know, they're fatherless or motherless because their parents signed that contract. Some days it's rough, but other days you're like, all right, my father passed away, but he died a hero, so you could be happy about that because you know your dad, died, your dad died with honor. And now it is the honor of all those who have volunteered here to do everything in their power to make this day the best day ever. Clay target shooting transitions to quail hunting, and among those headed out to the hunting field is a mentor you may recognize. I can't imagine what some of them are going through, but I know they've got you know a great, great organization helping them and. Um, you know, it's, you know, when that happens, it, it takes a village and there's no question. So, um, but I, I'm just glad to be he here and I guess help out as, as much as I can today. Well-known Nashville predator Mike Fisher, also husband to Grammy Award winning country music singer Carrie Underwood, is out here to pass on a passion he believes is important in his own life. I love the outdoors for, for reasons. You're, you're off your phone, you're in nature, you can enjoy you know, God's creation and um, showing these, these kids. Some of them have never done it before, never had you know, shot a shotgun and, and here we are out bird hunting and they're just having a blast. So that's, I mean, showing them a part, something that I love and I have a passion for is the outdoors and hunting and to be able to share it with these kids is, uh, is awesome and hopefully they can they can pick it up and enjoy it for, for a lot of years. It really uh, produces friendships, it produces family memories, and, and for them to be able to do this today, uh, I, I think every one of them will come away with this with a big smile on their face and, and, a, and memories for the day. In addition to the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Management, members of Music City Quail are out here providing guns, guides, and the bird dogs. In fact, the beeping you hear is coming from the dog's collars, keeping them connected to the guides. 
and whenever they approach a bird, they just freeze. And that is one of the most exciting things to some of these kids that we've heard them express in the past. Education is one of Music City Quail's missions, but this particular event is far more personal. Some of these things that are really worthwhile but require a little more effort, uh, those are the things that uh, really I think you get the most satisfaction out of. And we've got a lot of great members of Music City Quail Forever that are always willing to step up when you call on them. The owners of this registered hunt preserve also answered the call to get connected and offered up their 100-year-old legacy farm and its many amenities. I think oftentimes we, we just need to step back and smile and have a little fun. And really that's what today's all about. It's just taking a little bit of our time, loving on some young people and having some fun. The dogs are just as excited as the kids, but it's the volunteer who usually keeps his eye on a tiny hockey puck who's the first to spot a bird. But then again, he does play for a living. There you go. Right there. Oh, there, there, get that one. Oh man, that's a good one to get at. Come on, hunt him up, hunt him up. All right, shoot him, shoot. Oh, reload, reload, we got another bird right here. Sometimes the birds fly faster than their reactions, but it's all for fun and not always about the birds. I got to meet Mike Fisher. Everything about it, just walking and, and like just taking in everything, and it's just, it's a lot. Here you come to hunt, but you get that connection with the hunters and the instructors and all the mentors. We need to take the time, we need to put the resources into it and pour into these children's lives. To be with our families, to go after a career, pursue whatever we want to, because we have that freedom and liberty, and it's because of their kids, these kids, their parents. Those of us with parents can't begin to understand what it's like for them. But these events are extremely valuable because they do understand each other. Other people can say, I, I'm sorry for your loss, but these people have actually been what I've been through. They felt what I felt and they've been mad, they've been sad, and it's just a great time and it's a great family. Families support each other no matter what. So those who missed their shots were encouraged to keep trying. I did hit it after my second time going around. The first time I missed every single shot, but I mean, I did, I did hit it two times. And at the end of the day, it was certainly okay to see at least one get away. I'm Ezekiel Noah Hall on the Wild Side. A lot of times the older kids serve as mentors to the younger ones. You saw Jeremy Sanchez in our story and he says the saddest part is seeing new kids coming into the program. You can go to our website, wildsidetv.com, for more information on a soldier's child.